question seven. So part one. I remember this can be a split down to being eight to the power of two x multiplied by eight to the power of one being twenty four. I mean, it's, we're more familiar with it in reverse, really. We, you know, when we multiply, we add the powers, so that would give us h to the power of 2x plus 1. So I think that's the hard bit, really. So we're multiplying by 8, so we choose to divide both sides by 8, giving us h to the power of 2x equals 3. We then log both sides, and using the, uh, the power rule, we have 2x log 8 equals log 3. Divide through by log 8, we get 2x being this which is this from my calculator, and half that we get this, which is 0 0.264 to three decimal places. Now for part two, um, now I've chosen to start off by taking this term here to the right hand side by adding two log y to the base two to both sides. You don't have to, but I just thought it made it a little bit simpler to explain really. So having done that, uh, we can combine these two terms following the log uh, division rule. So we have log to the base 2, 11y minus 3, divided by 3. And over on the right-hand side, doing the reverse of the power rule, so we're taking this 2 upstairs. So we've got log y squared to the base 2 being added to log uh, added to 1. Now remember, any n 1 is just log 2 to the base 2, or log 3 to the base 3, or whatever. So I've just chosen to, t uh, to change this 1 into log 2 to the base 2, just so everything's in log, log to the base 2. So again, now, now following the multiplication rule, we can combine these two terms to say we've got log to the base 2, 2y squared. So we can say this um, bracket here now equals this bracket here, so we're really doing away with the logs. So 11y minus 3 over 3 equals 2y squared. Multiply both sides by 3. Um, take everything over to the right-hand side by minusing 11y and adding 3. We get 6y squared minus 11y plus 3 equals 0. This does factorise to 2y minus 3, 3y minus 1 equaling 0. So we get y being 3 over 2 and y being a third.